Jilda's Abdi Zaparov's third pregnancy was difficult, a product of her weak heart. The nervous doctors performed an emergency C-section prior to her due date. Her husband, Maksat, was embarrassed they had no money to pay for the operation. He is handicapped and can't work much, the result of a single day in Kyrgyzstan's history. Over 88 people died and 1,000 were injured. Moxad is one of them. The bullet is still lodged in his chest. After two surgeries, the doctors haven't been able to remove the bullet. But Moxad's concern is his family and new baby boy, Alanur. He knows Jilda's weak heart comes from the anxiety she felt the day he was shot. He remembers lying in the hospital, wondering if he would die wondering what his family would do without him. When Jildas came into the room, she was crying, but thankful he was alive. The days since the revolution have been difficult for the family, both financially and psychologically. With his injury, there are few jobs Moxat can do. And another surgery to try and remove the bullet is expensive and risky. The bullet is located near his heart. Moxat said he regrets going to the revolution. He regrets losing his health. But he doesn't regret what the revolution meant for Kyrgyzstan and what it means for his children. Kaneki is 11 and is a diligent student and helper around the house. Ihan is 8 and likes to tag along with his sister and get into plenty of trouble on his own. He wants to be a policeman when he grows up and Kaneki dreams of being a doctor. Jildas and Moxat want bright futures for their three children. They know a stable country is part of that future. A future that looks scarred from the revolution, but one they hope will be better because of the revolution. Moxat said he still doesn't trust the government. It's hard to trust. But Jildas and Moxat can only hope the revolution in 2010 has set Kyrgyzstan on a better path. And it's with this hope that they lead their family in the years to come. <laughs>